Cool. All right. Hey, fifth grade band, we are at a different time, same location though, my music room. Uh, today, we're going to take a chance to really just do a grand review of everything. Shows us a couple things. One, shows us really how far we've come. We've learned a ton this year, uh, a lot more than we think we know. Secondly, uh, a big review of stuff makes us have to relook at a lot of skills and things like that. These skills aren't just magically like, oh, I checked them off the box. Now I know them. No. It makes you have to keep redoing them, relearning them, relearning them until it's ingrained in there and never leaves. That's honestly what happens to me with music. I have to do it 100,000 times, and then it's there perfect. So today's also lastly going to be a workout for our face. Um, I've been playing a lot today. So we'll see how my face holds up. We're going all the way back to the beginning, people. You're going to start to realize, oh, that's why we did those exercises. Oh, okay. That's why we always do long tones. Ah, this makes sense. And if it doesn't, well, you've got some real homework to do over the summer. So let's begin. Page six, number five, moving around. Yeah, it's just long tones. It's that easy. Play it perfect, though. Perfect rhythm, perfect articulation, perfect cutoff. Number five, and one, two, ready. <laughs> Yes, I know it seems simple, but sometimes that's what we have in our music. Play the most perfect whole notes. Don't play them any longer than a whole note. Don't play them shorter than a whole note. Start in perfect, end in perfect, even all the way through. That's like seven things to think of while just playing a note. Important stuff. Percussion, that's where we have different stickings. We see our first rudiments, paradiddles. We're going to continue forward extremely fast. A lot of these uh, we looked at with fourth grade and about 30 minutes ago. But we're going to review a couple of them, and we'll <coughs> mix around and do some things uh, as well, some things different. All right, not too far over. Number seven on page seven, deep breaths. That breath mark is that little interruption, okay? Number seven, one, two, ready. <laughs> just whole notes. Aim for that perfect sound, that perfect fit. Now, as we go forward, really until like number, I don't know, 20. So these next ones, we we're adding some rhythms and we we're adding some notes. So we get our first five notes. We spent a lot of time in the book really perfecting these. And then each time they just are sneaking in little skills. Okay. Okay. Number nine, half note rock. And one, two, ready. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo, what a squeak. <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch to trumpet. Like I said, my face is pretty tired from playing all morning. Um, yeah, that was epic. <laughs> all right, look at number 12 on page seven. Cuckoo. Okay. Ugh. A lot of spit in this instrument. Spit's coming out everywhere. Cool. Let's play number seven or 12. 12. We're going to speed this up just a little bit too. Number 12, cuckoo on page seven. One, two, and one, two, three. Can you hear my tones wobbly? Like it's not 
100% even. It's because the vase is getting tired. It makes it a little bit more difficult. Skip that. Man, nah, skip that. Ooh, yeah, let's do this one. Uh, number 17 on page 8. This is a good one because we are now have quarter notes. We have quarter note rests. And... We're mixing up more notes. We're doing more variety. Um, again, like I said before, if you're still struggling to read these notes, well, you probably haven't been practicing. But make sure that we're constantly knowing these notes. Hopefully this is getting a little bit easier than what it was when we first did this. Okay, number 17 on page 8. And one, two, ready? <laughs> rhythm. It's tricky. Skip that. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, let's do this. Number 20. 20 is important. This is the first time we have our first five notes mixed together with everything else that we know. A lot of stuff going on. Number 20 on page 8. Go tell and And let's do it. I want to keep these instruments on your face as much as we can. And one, two, three. <laughs> To a little bit more complicated stuff. You were going to see a lot of solo and tutti things coming here. Remember, solo is one, soli is a couple more, tutti is everybody. You almost never see that in your music, though. It's just in your part, and it gives us the idea that some people will play when we're not playing. Sometimes just the woodwinds will play, sometimes it's just the brass. It occurs in music. We don't see that all the time. Every once in a while on like different parts, it might say 2T here or all that, or I don't know. Just know what it means. Solo is one, soli is multiple, 2T is everybody. Number 22, Little Robin Red Rest. This is on page nine. <sighs> Quarter notes. Percussion, we got our buzz coming up here. And one, two, ready? <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's do this. Number 23, Merrily We Roll Along. Let's keep playing. And one, two, 23. No repeat. All right, if you look at measure six, measure six is that little bit of the extra quarter note. It's not what we expect, and our brain tells us that we need to clip that fourth beat so we can breathe there. Don't. Don't. We want... <laughs> We're going to skip the rounds. We're not going to do rounds. We're not going to do duets because there's only one of us. All right, number 27, Good King Wenceslas. We're starting to see Christmas music, or as they say in the book, uh, holiday music. So we have Good King Wenceslas. Let's play it. Same thing. No repeat. Just play the whole thing. You're the soloist. And one, two, ready. Then it 
goes on. I mean, there's more song to it, but not today. Ah, uh, skipping that, skipping that, skipping that. If you look, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we just really skip because it's not important. Uh, 32, this is on page 10, number 32, Skill Builder. All right, we're starting to see slurs built in with our stuff. Remember, slurs, we keep the air going, we move our fingers to change the note. So an example of a slur. <laughs> Articulated notes. All right, thinking of articulated notes like a drum is a good example because each time you have to hit that note to start that note. The rest is notes passing through the air. We want it as smooth as possible, like very, very nice butter being spread on toast or Nutella or jam or whatever you like on your toast in the morning. All right, number 32, Skill Builder. I'll switch back to clarinet here in a second. My trumpet face is getting tired. Number 32. One, two, ready. Six note got worked in there. Sneaky. All right, jumping forward a little bit more. And we did that one in the fourth grade. I'm bored of it. All right, look at number 38 on page 11. All right, 38 on page 11. We're in a new time signature. We only count up to two now. Uh, and we have our key signatures. This music looks most like music that we're going to see. Okay, it's lacking eighth notes, but. This should make a lot of sense to us. Uh, this looks like what we've been looking at for the last two months, if not more. Oh, hey, don't forget, there's ties. Ties make us play the note longer. We don't repeat the note. Let's play it. We'll go just a little slower. Number 38, Shoe Fly. This is on page 11. Hopefully your faces are still holding up. If not, keep going. Don't get tired. And one, two, ready. <laughs> We know it maybe a little bit faster. <laughs> around we can make the notes whatever we want because you're in charge all right skipping skipping boring and guess what it's christmas time so at christmas time this is really meant to be the first concert uh this is the first kind of stuff now we skip that because we kind of weren't ready for it at that point we're only meeting once a week but we see our first five notes there we see ties we see all the rhythms that we know we see all sorts of stuff, percussion, we see different rudiments, we see all our bell notes going on, a ton of stuff is going on. And then after Christmas, we have eighth notes. So let's look at number 44 on page 14. Number 44 on page 14. This is Michael Finnegan. 14, number 44, and one, two, ready. <laughs> because that's how we get to the end of the song. So with these first and second endings, we will do that. So remember, you play through the song, you get to the repeat, and you go back to the beginning. You play through the song, and the second time, you jump over that part that says one, you go to the part that says two, and you play it out to the end. We'll see more of those. All right, look at number 46, Processional Dance, or Renaissance Dance Music. This is uh, page 14, number 46, and one, 
two, ready. <laughs> Fermatas at the end, we keep playing them. Okay, you gotta hold those out. Hopefully this is starting to make more sense of, oh, okay. I remember that now. Oh, okay, now I remember it. Now that you've done this a couple times, ah, it starts to make a little bit more sense. All right, number 50, Mon Nomen Harvest, page 15. Page 15, number 50. One, two, three. <laughs> sounds a lot like indigo rock. That's what it sounds like to me. Oh, yeah, we did this one before. This is a fun one. I really like this one. Uh, number 54, Rio con Brio, on page 15. This mixes up all of our stuff. So this actually looks the most like what we would see with March Across the Seas. We have key signatures. We have our first six notes, seven if you're counting the low one. Uh, Eighth notes are in different places. We have tides, we have slurs, we have rests. This is really an important one. Working up to this point is like very important. After this, that's where we can start to branch out into other stuff. 54. Took us a long time to get to this point, okay? But we're there. We're beyond there. So let's do it. Number 54, Rio con Brio. And one, two, ready. Skipping, 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 skipping. Ah, yes, three, four. I remember the. Let's actually do some serious sight reading. Number 66 on page 17. I don't think we've played this one before. Let's sight read it. I'm going to play this on trumpet because this is a very famous trumpet solo. The Carnival of Venice. Look it up. It's really cool. Uh, page 17, number 66, Carnival of Venice. Bum, 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 bum. Ready? And we start on beat three. One, two, three, one, two. <laughs> So if you're a trumpet player, check it out. Uh, I also saw a saxophone player play that once. Very awesome. It was ridiculous. Uh, now let's get that. Boring. Uh, boring. 
All right, then we get to our songs. We get Indigo Rock. We get all that kind of stuff. Uh, Indigo Rock, uh, we, uh, we didn't get a chance to play it in the spring, unfortunately, but keep an eye on that one. Don't completely forget how it goes because it's already in our back pocket. A lot of these songs we can just pick up and go. Uh, we probably aren't going to play our rounds. We're not going to play our other stuff. We're going to just jump into the cool stuff. Uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit more here in about, I don't know, five minutes. But don't forget it. You can play along with your part, and you can play along with the whole song. Both have been recorded. Ah, oh, man, I remember this one. This one was fun. Number 78, La Bamba. Number 70, sorry, number 78. Number 77 on page 22. I gotta remember it. Man, this is a hard one. La Bamba, let's slow this down just a little bit to help ourselves out. Number 77 on page 22. And yeah, let's do it. One, two, ready. Two, three, four. just by accident. So clarinet, we're reading the lower notes and we have that different fingering. So I'm gonna to switch to clarinet here for this one. We'll keep this nice and slow. 81, just by accident, this is on page 23. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> talking about scales and how important those scales are uh that's really something crucial if you remember one thing from the entire year scales are going to be the most important thing so we ended with 83 and 85 uh so we're just going to play 83 and call it a day and i'm going to tell you a little bit more about some band stuff all right 83 i'm gonna play clarinet we jump lower in this one remember for now next year we'll learn high notes and how to really make them wobble. All right, 83 and one, two, ready. <laughs> super tired again going back and reviewing that stuff is important because it makes us have to redo those early skills uh and it's a good way to just be consistent with those practicing those they call the fundamentals fundamental because they are fundamental to our playing they're very important fifth grade we've learned a ton this year if by reading through that book did not show it to you then i don't know how else to show you 
because you've come a super long way since September when we started doing this. Uh, we've come a super long way in our general music class too. Next year, oh, my generator turned on. Uh, next year, as I talked about a little bit in the other lesson, um, next year is middle school. So middle school, the idea is six, seven, and eight, we're all going to go to music together and you're going to pick which group you're going to be in. So the hope and expectation is you'll be in band next year. We're going to keep pushing you. We're going to keep making you have to work harder. Even just 10 minutes a day over the summer is really going to make a massive difference. So if you want to keep going, email me. I'll find music for you. I'll have exercises for you. I'm probably going to put together a summer packet of just stuff to look at, stuff to work on, um, maybe things a little bit more instrument specific. But your book is an awesome resource too. There's a ton of stuff in it. There's a ton of exercises that we didn't even start to peek at. If you ever have questions, let me know. Fifth grade, congratulations. You are done with the elementary school building. It's middle school next year. It's a big change. Uh, it's a big change for band too. So we are excited for you to join us over at the middle school. And I'm really excited to see everybody in the fall. It really is such a shame that we weren't able to do our concert. A spring concert's a big moment for a first year musician. Uh, it's something really exciting. I remember my first recital. I remember my first concerts. They are terrifying memories <laughs> because uh, I played great. I played really well, but you are so nervous and it feels like a roller coaster to me. That's why I love performing so much. It's excitement just adrenaline. Uh, and when you're prepared, you know you're going to knock it out of the park. So it's cool stuff. So I can't wait to have that experience with everybody in the fall. Until then, enjoy your summers, play lots of music. I'm always uh, reachable by email. So reach out if you ever need anything. All right. Cool fifth grade. That's a wrap. See you next year. Bye.